Okay, what we're doing today is finding the area of a circle, which is a bit more complicated than what we've been doing. Uh, notice on the sheets uh, that I did put an example problem to run it through you, so I am going to run through how we did the example problem, uh, so you'll understand that. So, the first thing you're given is the radius. Now, what we're going to need for the problem, um, because what we are doing is the area of a circle equals pi times the radius squared. And that's what we are doing. So the first thing we're going to need is the radius squared. So the radius squared, 3, 3 times 3 is 9. The next thing we're going to need is what is pi. Well, for pi, you know, I told you in class, we're going to simplify it. We're just going to use 3.14. So we're punching 3.14. So the next step is, what is pi r squared? So that's 3.14 times 9. And that is how we got this answer here, 28.26. Then, something that we forget often to do, go back and actually write down what is the area of the circle. It's going to be 28.26, which is what I've got for my formula, centimeters squared. Don't forget that part. Now, uh, there are 16 questions like that, I think. And then there are 16 questions where we're not given the radius, we are given the diameter. So the first step, given the diameter, we have to figure out what is the radius. Now we know the radius is one half the diameter, or the diameter is always twice the radius, so we just cut this in half or divide by two, and I get eight centimeters. So the next question is, what is the radius squared? 8 times 8, 64. What are we using for pi? 3.14. So what is 3.14 times 64? So I got 200.96. And then finally, answer the question. What is the area of our circle? 200.96 centimeters squared. Because we're talking about area, which is a space. Good luck.